This is WB5 SXX uh, out at the state. The man who first spotted the Tuesday tornado uh, was Glenn Watley. Uh, Watley was assigned to the stadium. Other spotters were deployed around the city when the tornado watch was issued by the Severe Storms Forecast Center in early afternoon. Other spotters were stationed at the local weather office. All were linked by amateur radio. The media repeatedly warned residents in the 11 county area. The network of spotters came busily to life. A few minutes later, the horror begins. At dawn, Wichita Falls looks as if it has been leveled by a bomb. 46 are dead. 1,700 are injured. 5,000 homes have been demolished, and many of the 25,000 who occupied them are homeless. The American Red Cross and other voluntary groups are on the scene with nursing care, clothing, and shelter. Wichita Falls quickly exhausts its own and the state's resources, and the Federal Emergency Management Agency steps in. 1,400 trailers are brought in to provide temporary housing. The city has to stencil street names on curbs. With familiar landmarks gone, many residents can't find their neighborhoods. Rebuilding begins immediately. With it comes an awakening sense of humor. Later, only a few vacant house slabs will bear witness to what happened here. But Wichita Falls hasn't forgotten. The disaster plan has been refined and strengthened. Once again, the basic do's and don'ts are presented to the public. Do have a disaster plan for the community. For schools, factories and businesses. For the home. Listen to NOAA Weather Radio. You'll find it between 162.4 and 162.55 megahertz on the public service band. Buy a battery-powered weather band radio with a warning alarm. They're available at many department and electronic supply stores. Do take cover when the warning comes in a basement, or lacking that, in a windowless interior room. Watch for weather clues. Darkening, boiling clouds, strong winds, large hail, and frequent lightning. Don't ignore warnings. Don't try to escape in a car or truck. Don't open windows or doors. Don't stay in a mobile home. 
Nearly half of those killed by tornadoes in recent years were in mobile homes at the time. If necessary, take shelter in a ditch or ravine. Lie flat and cover your head. Don't light matches, candles or cigarettes when gas may be escaping in or near a damaged building. Don't enter disaster areas. Tornadoes have struck every state in the Union and will strike many again. We can't stop tornadoes from happening, but we can defend ourselves against them. To save lives and prevent injuries, all of us should learn the safety rules that saved thousands of people in Wichita Falls, Texas on an April afternoon, the day they call Terrible Tuesday.